Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slayer Spire Daily Challenge Runs. This is November 27, 2018 and as you can see we are playing as the Defect today. We are currently sitting on a grand total of 22 wins and 4 losses. 26 runs completed so far and only 4 more to go. So I'm hoping that we can, uh, you know, just skyrocket ahead a little bit. Maybe if we could somehow complete the rest of this month without losing anyone, that could be really good for us. We are playing as Diffed with Shiny, which is amazing. A diverse, which is super crap. And then Big Game Hunter, which is just there. We don't really care about Big Game Hunter too much. It's good, it's bad. It doesn't really affect the run in any way, shape, or form. Because we have Shiny, which is really, really good. But diverse, which is really, really bad. So these two kind of cancel each other out, which is interesting. So we have to see how the run goes. Scores are very high in the top 20. I can't look at anything else because this will happen. Hey, it actually loaded in. Okay, never mind. So we could technically get to the top 100, but oh, my internet is, is dead. It's absolutely dead right now. Um, just bad internet connection and having to do so many things. Just trying to get everything set up beautifully for the December month. Without further ado, we need to score 1,356. 55, sorry, to get that top 100. But uh, let's see if we can get even better today. We have Shiny, and I do love Shiny in the Defect. I think it's super good on the Defect. I think Shiny is the best on the Defect out of every character, except I got 52 gods. Interesting. So, because Diverse is there, I got every rare card in the game. Okay, um, well that changes everything, absolutely changes the entire run, and how I wanted to approach this run. Um, I do see four elites, I'm so like confused now as to how to do this. I'm kind of in a situation, I, I mean, I think where I'm at right now is you just play everything you have in the deck and you see how it goes. I think that's honestly where we're at right now. Seeing red is going to be of utmost importance for us. Move a card from the deck, lose some HP. That could be huge. What card is definitely a dead card? Phantasmal Killer, Wraith Form, Nightmare. Barricade. Uh, barricade can work with fast. We can make that happen. Uh, Berserk. That's about it, actually. So there aren't, there aren't actually that many cards we want to remove, actually. So I'm actually kind of fine by doing this. And I will remove a card. And I think the card we're going to remove, and I think it's a no-brainer as well, is just Berserk. That card is never going to get played, ever. And I think like it's actually very smart of me to get rid of that. Now, the card we choose here, I think, is very important. Adrenaline and... Offering feel like the best choices, but let's not throw away things such as seek if we get seek We can find adrenaline and offering and even though the only one of them are gonna be good for us right now I think that's enough in all honesty now I think finesse is definitely worth it You want some form of more block and you want card draw because you want to get through the deck now, I'm very worried about fighting elites now before I was like, yeah, let's go every single elite. Let's do this But now I'm like, I don't know I'm not sure anymore. I just want to look here quickly. Um, Electronomics will kill you and we have a uh, seeing way to make sure that happens. So what I want to actually seek out here is Adrenaline and the Self Repair, which I'm sure is a, is a rare card. But apparently, unless I'm very blind, which is definitely possible, it would seem Self Repair is not a red card, which a rare card, which shocks me. I was definitely under the impression that it was indeed a rare card. Self repair. I was pretty sure you were a rare card. Because some of these cards are super trashed here. And if you are not a rare card, then it makes me wonder. What the F is going on here? Okay, so we need to think a little bit here. I need to plan ahead because this has to be played exactly right. Okay, feed on him first and then let your Okay, beautiful. 
beautiful. I wanted that max HP. It was so critical that I used the the cards to my advantage there to get the max HP. Play that, play that, and play that, and play that. We are gonna take a big hit here, but it's okay. I was trying to get the kill there, but it didn't happen. We could like technically hold out for an exhume if we wanted to. Like right now. Oh he's dead anyway, so we might as well just kill him. He was dead anyway, there was no reason to hold out for an exhume there. Cold Snap, I really like a lot. Uh, especially works really well with Juggernaut, which I know because of previous ones. I'm gonna do the elite fight. I'm sorry, it's just it's happening. It's happening and it's either gonna work out great or it's not gonna work out, so we'll find out soon. If I could have played Meteor Strike here, we would have been fine. Uh Wraithful means I have to kill him in two turns, which I'm not sure if it's possible, but I kind of think I'll go Phantasmal Killer for double DPS next turn. Just pray for some attacks. Because this Gremlin could be a big deal for us. I'm gonna adrenaline here. Hmm, interesting. So this is double damage, right? So is that there we go. Beautiful. Here yeah, we don't care about it all. I actually don't want any of these. I have one of each and I definitely don't want more. Uh maybe Juggernaut's not bad though. Because with ice synergy and juggernaut synergy, we could definitely get something going. But we have very little ice right now. I think for now I'll skip them all. And I think you wanna usually rest here. But I'm actually not gonna rest here because Actually I will rest here. I'd rather rest to full because I'm gonna have two consecutive elites coming up. And I'd rather be on full HP for at least the second one. This is great. This first turn is amazing. We can set up a lot on this first turn if we want. And I'm definitely going to try my best to set up as much as I can here. Because I think setting up is the best option. So I think something like Finesse can go. Yeah. Now we need to plan this correctly. I think what you want to do is you want to first alchemize. Then we can... Fission will wake him up. So we don't want to fission. Let me do that. Let me end our turn. Okay, so we've set up two powers. And we so far haven't really lost much. Oh, obviously Echo Form. 100%. Not even a... Oh, actually, Bullet Time lets us play everything. So we can go like this. Bullet Time. Echo. Thousand Cuts. Buffer. Wraith Form. I think that's actually fine here because we just played all our powers. We don't care too much about defensive cards. We care a little bit more about just doing super DPS to this guy. I'm gonna exhume adrenaline and I'll pop adrenaline again. Sweet. Now I'm gonna go seek and I wanna see what I wanna seek out. So I probably wanna seek out um, big DPS, is what I'm thinking. So, or I wanna seek out some kind of instant kill condition here. Something like Core Surge is pretty good. Reaper could get us some heal. Do we need block? We don't really need block because he's attacking for one and we have the block up already. So Reaper could be good for heal. Multicast, you know, it works pretty good with what we've got in our hand. Feed is good. Emulate's pretty good. Amplify. I don't see any powers we want to amplify. Uh, can we kill you in one turn? I don't think so. I think killing is a little bit out of our uh, out of our uh, options. But I think I'll go for glass knife and I'll go for feed. And we we'll see, and we can see what we can make happen here. So let's think in our graveyard here. We do have some cards we can play. So something like a all for one first is good. Let's play finesse. Okay. Bludgeon will kill him right now. So he is just straight up dead to bludgeon. But like, is there a way for me to get the feed out here? So this is 16 damage. And then this is 14, so it'll actually kill you. Um, is there any way for me to get the feed here? Oh wait, I already had the feed. What am I thinking? He's already fed. Okay. Overthinking. See, I'm just overthinking these things and I, and I really shouldn't. I'm going to take another Juggernaut now because now I'm like kind of into the Juggernaut idea. But at the same time, I'm also a little worried about it. Front scales doesn't really work well for me, but we'll make it work, I guess. I don't think there's much to think about here. I think you start with the weaken. Wait. We could go 1,000 cuts into Cold Snap. I think that's the better play. 1,000 cuts does damage. Cold Snap gives us a little defense, which we're probably going to need. Specifically because we've got a very bad deck for this specific enemy. Uh, let's weaken him. I think that's of utmost importance. I'm also going to use the poison on him. Even though it's a card I don't want to use. use that. We play a lot of skills. And I'm kind of just hoping these skills give us room to play with next turn because right now we are not in a good place 
Okay, so we want to kill you here. I think you do start with die to die. Then a double tap hyper beam will take care of him. Here we go. Oh, okay. That was a very scary lead fight for me. Another bullet time I think is definitely good. We have so many expensive cards. We do have another lead fight coming up. So I would like to to rest. But I'm actually going to take a gamble and go upgrade one of the uh, adrenalines and the offerings are of the next two upgrades. Heal, max HP or regret. We can definitely take regret here because we've got a 57 card deck. And that means seeing the regret is is usually going to be unlikely except for the fact that we're playing Slayer Spire which means it's probably going to guarantee to happen but we have to see how it goes for now. I'm not going to play the offering there as I don't think it's necessary. Now can I kill you here is the question. So I don't think we've got the kill. Unfortunately this will heal me for 5 which I think is very important. I can blow you up for 10 and then leave and then okay so you will not get fed here that's not that's not happening. We need to accept that you are not getting fed, so we'll go buy some mission, and that's okay. Let's take some damage. Toei makes it one damage, so beautiful. Core Surge and uh, Lightning will take care of this fight. Beautiful. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Glacier I think is a 100% must add to the deck. Did not even have to think about it, which is nice. I like not having to think. It's kind of my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to pop Offering right off the bat here and take 6 HP loss. It sucks, but I think it's definitely going to be worth it in the long run. Now something like Core Surge onto our good friend over here into a Bias Cognition into a Glacier and then potentially just a nice little die 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 feels super good. I'm actually going to use the... I'm going to use the Explosion Potion here. I think that's going to net me more positive than negative here. It actually took out one of the enemies for us. We're not going to take any damage in this fight. Potentially. So this does 5 to all. Which means we can go 5 to all. And then we can go, hey, let's eat this guy. And get um, some more max HP. Which we love. This is a perfect lead fight. And I'm extremely happy about it. Every Everything here just worked out perfectly. Look at this. Boom. Beautiful. So if we fight the... If we fight the Awakened one, we are going to be very scared. Definitely don't want to fight the Awakened one. On a scale of things I do and do not want to do, fighting the Awakened one is definitely not one of those things. I'm just thinking here we want to make things cheap. Here we want to make things better. So stuff like Limit Break, good. Juggernaut, really good. Seeing Red, super good. Glacier, good. Bullet Time, amazing. Um, Thousand Cuts is good, Invenom is good, Alchemize is great, Creative Air not so good, Echo Form not so good, Rainbow okay, Buff is okay, uh, not against the specific boss though, uh, it's really difficult, it's actually so hard for me to, to tell you what the right upgrade is here, as a, like I would love to be able to say as a person releasing these videos saying like okay I am the authority on say Aspire and this is how you should play this is how you should play. I can't. I literally can't tell you right now what would be the best approach to take against this upcoming boss. So I'm gonna with all of those because those are all super bad. Those are all super bad. Now I've got a we got an important choice to make. A thousand cuts or in venom. That's our choice. We have to make a choice, we have to make it now. I'm gonna go for thousand cuts. I think it's gonna pay off more for us in the long run. Okay, so we got two very bad opening hands here, but what's nice about that is we got rid of two bad opening hands at the same time. So we took two hands that we didn't like, and we were like, okay, you know what? Let's make them better for us. So that's what we want. I'm going to reboot here. I'm looking for some more defense. Didn't really get defense, but I kind of got defense, so it worked out a little bit. But I don't think we were perfect this. Uh, 7 times 6 is 42 damage. We're only going to have 35 defense, so we will not be getting a perfect damage. Yeah, we took one seven too much, just one. A little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I think we want to alchemize here, definitely. So we got the regret, obviously. Um, you know, why would we not get the regret? <laughs> you know, like, let's get the regret. Okay, so um, we do have seek, which means we could find something to discard for us, potentially. Uh, what do we have? And a uh, power base. So I kind of really want to get Juggernaut out there, but I'm kind of looking for Discard. Do I have any form of Discard? I think Adrenaline is a must, and then... I don't see any Discard, personally. But something, if we go something like, um, 
bullet time, we could just play all the cards in our hand, which means that we will not have a, a hand card problem, which is really good. Does this work? Okay, no, it doesn't. I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I wanted to know and I wasn't sure. So, uh, I will actually... Okay, I gotta make a choice. It's either 40 damage or it's some lightning. I think you do this first. I think that's the first thing you do. So, 40 damage or lightning? 40 damage or lightning? I think lightning. We can't play it because our focus will go away and make high beam really bad. So, we took two from regret. I think it's okay. I've got too much lightning synergy in this deck to offer it up for... For something that's just not going to really help me in any way, shape, or form. We didn't perfect this, elite, uh, this boss fight. Not perfect this boss fight's a big deal. We just have too many cards right now that don't do anything for us. And obviously that's, that's causing problems for me. And I will equip it now. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. So whatever card we get next turn is played twice. Let's keep this in mind. Very important. You might not think it's important, but it's super important. Uh, we're not going to need Amplify here. So we, work, we can kill this guy right now, right here. So Juggernaut twice means every time we get Fast Armor, which is basically every turn, we do 10 damage. So that's 10. That's 10 damage a turn. Oh wait, it's 10 per. So it's 20 damage a turn. Yeah, this is definitely Juggernaut, I, I think. I'm looking at it, I'm telling myself, it's definitely Juggernaut. It's just so good. But I can't see myself passing it up, honestly. We're doing 20 damage a turn with Juggernaut just for free. He's literally dead already. We literally end our turn and he dies. But I will, of course, go for this beautiful uh, Reaper play if I can. Just to get a little bit more out of it. Okay, he died because I played too many cards. My bad. I think Dida is fine. It gives us a kill condition card. And I'm definitely taking Calling Bar here. We have so many cards that three more curses don't bother me at all. Even if one of them is uh, Regret. Champ! It's fine. I can deal with Champ. So now that we've got a little bit of max HP out of feed, which is lovely. We've also um, set up a very specific deck. Obviously, the deck we're running right now is a power-based synergy deck. It relies 100% on powers. So, as I said earlier, fighting the Awaken one is bad. There's only three elites no matter what path we take. Got quite a bit of money, so I'll take the uh, path that goes through the elites that have some bonfires in case we need them. So let's go this way. Ooh, birdies, you guys are problematic. Uh, you guys are slightly less problematic. So pop electrodynamics, um, pop alchemize, end your turn. We got electrodynamics out, like it's three turns and they all dead. We get anything to evoke these, they dead. Let me evoke, baby, let me evoke. Beautiful, goodbye. Beautiful. Now that's the type of turn I'm talking about. Give me more of those. Do you like Capacitator a lot? It works very well with what I'm doing. I will definitely pick up a curse if I can. I want five curses right now and I've only got four. I want five of course for the five curse daily bonus. So I need one more curse but we didn't get one. It was a 50-50 gamble but you know we lost the gamble. Plain Armor is super good. Strawberry is super good. Metallicide is super good. Um, spot Weakness okay. Finesse is okay. Uh... I'm going to go with Strawberry, Metallicize, and Finesse. I think that's fine. Finesse is good. It's always good. Finesse is never bad unless you have Valve Choker. Obviously, I do not have Valve Choker. So, for me, Finesse, always good. Love it. Two bits and pieces. I'd like to see more of it in the future. Uh, obviously, pop adrenaline here. You can then go for us. Uh, before we seek, let's think about it. Do we need to seek? Oh, I mean, I think we should seek, right? Always seek when possible, I guess. We could get something like a, uh, an after image out here, maybe like a, uh, feed potentially. Are we killing you this turn? I don't think so. Emulate. Emulate can make us kill him this turn. Uh, oh, you know what would be good? A glass dagger. We have glass dagger in hand. Never mind. Glass dagger is in hand. So, core surge is probably really good. Uh, it's actually super good. I don't even know why I thought about that. It wasn't actually anything to think about. The option was pretty simple. Play Core Surge, so his little uh, days doesn't matter. Sometimes I'm, I'm definitely guilty of overthinking things in Slayer Spy, and as you guys can all see, it's happening more and more. I think a boot sequence in our opening hand every turn is always going to be good for us, and Liquid Bronze against a champ is pretty good, especially since we have a bronze scale, so I think it's a little bit better than the plated armor for me. So I just want to check the path I'm taking, checking the path, I'm taking the correct path, good. 
Uh, yes, thank you very much. I'll rob you. Oh, more is perfect. I don't want to get any more things anyway. Now we've got choices, guys. Now we've got choices. Upgrading cards, which is amazing. Or just getting, like, fucking relics for days. Because we're on 4 HP. And I think relics. I think more relics is better than better cards. And I know that's controversial because a lot of people out there think more cards is better than more... I think that's fine. Um, some people think that more cards are better than more... Than more elites. Uh, more relics, sorry. I think it's a personal choice. I, I truly think it comes down to what you prefer as a gamer. I happen to prefer relics in Slay the Spire. As I think relics just straight up do more for you. Um, whether that is true or not. I mean, obviously I couldn't tell you. It's my personal opinion. So that's why it's a personal opinion. Uh, I think I actually want to make sure one of you die. Ah, actually just hit this guy, it's fine. Because you kind of both die next turn, maybe? Not sure. I'm pretty sure you do. Even with the armor, it shouldn't matter. <coughs> Off damage, 100%. Machine learning, 100%. And then glass knife here. I'm going to fission. Let's hope it was the right choice. It was not the right choice. For perfect, that is. For survivability, maybe. But for perfect, definitely not the right choice. Actually, maybe not even for survivability. That's a lot of damage to take, guys. Damn. That's that's on me, man. That's on me. I definitely messed that one up. Okay, so lost like half our HP gauge there. Really bad. Really, really, really bad. What's good, though, is we do have opportunity here to feed on the gremlin knob guy, which would be lovely. Um, let's go for a... Let's go for seeing red. I'm gonna pop off again. Do six more max HP. It sucks a little bit, but I have no choice. Uh, seeing red. So it's a little bit unfortunate. We did not. I did not get the things I needed. So there's no feed potential here at all. That sucks, man. It's okay. Whatever. Yeah. He would have died to the extra dynamics regardless, so... I hate that I didn't get to feed there, though. I would have very much liked to feed there if possible. Pocket Watch, never going to be useful for me. Ex another Exhum is tempting. And I think I will add it to the deck. I think we got enough reason to. So I'm worried about max HP now. Going down to 53 on that one turn. That was a that was a bum, man. That one hurt a lot. Like, a lot. I'm pretty sure you all can understand where I'm coming from with that. I mean, this is... Insane damage. But I think you kill off the back guy. The back guy has to go because you don't want to get attacked twice per turn. You want to get attacked once per turn maximum. So, finesse, obviously, right off the bat is always good. I'm definitely going to be seeking here. I'm going to be seeking adrenaline because I've upgraded it. And I think we could actually go for a juggernaut here. I think that's really good. I think it's really, really good. So, I'm going to pop juggernaut, obviously. Time to pop a finesse, get a little bit more block up in here. Um, I think let's just go for a free potion and get some defense. We want to mitigate the damage we take right now and we want to upgrade the damage we're doing. Now, if we had a, a barricade out, obviously, that would have been amazing for us, but, you know, unfortunately, we did not. Exumi time. I'm going to bring back an uh, adrenaline, popping adrenaline, looking for some form of defense. Not getting it, unfortunately, which sucks a little bit, but it's okay. He did a lot of damage. He almost died, actually, there. We're going to take a big hit here, but it's okay. So, we, a lot of that relied on us getting the perfect turn. Definitely. I'm not going to argue otherwise. But, you know, you can't always get the perfect turn. I think a Noxious Fume is not worth it, honestly. Do, 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 do. Gold Cables is fine. So, I'm very worried about this upcoming Elite Fight. It's like this Elite Fight could end us right now, right here. And this is an atrocious opening hand. Absolutely... Worst case scenario. So I'm going to doppelganger here. And I'm just going to tank this entire first turn. That one hurts, man. That's a horrible first turn. Terry helped out a little bit. But we are literally in death door right now. This is a double tap into emulate. No questions ask play. But then everything after this is going to be very critical. I'm going to have to play this exactly right. I have to do this all exactly right. It's going to take a lot of finesse. I'm not usually really good at, so I'm slightly worried about that, of course. 
So, evoking anything here gets a kill bit pretty much, but I think we just put up a ton of armor. And we'll put up a singular capacitor just because we can. And we're gonna, let's fiend fire this guy. Okay, I don't want to take that regret damage. You see, that's what's, what's mainly important for me right now. We did get through the fight, but let's be honest here. That wasn't, that wasn't as clean as we would have liked it. We would have liked it a lot cleaner there. Potentially not having taken any damage would have been better. Don't think we care about any of those specifically. <clears throat> Don't definitely question mark it up and you continue. I'll take the money. Ooh, I don't want to fight you guys, but I can't lose 331 money. Or oh, can I? Can I lose 331 money? I'm going to fight you. This first turn is going to be so important. We did get a finesse, which is very nice. Got bullet time, but that's kind of pointless. But uh, I guess we might as well play it. Play Dark Embrace. Uh, we can go for a Malaise on... Oh, we have zero energy, so Malaise does nothing. Um, I'm going to do it anyway, just to get out of my head. So that was an atrocious first turn. We did nothing. We accomplished nothing on that first turn. We could die right now, right here. Okay, so Seek is saving our life. Thank you, Seek, for having the mercy to show up and, and save me from losing a run. That I put myself in that position. I'm not going to lie to you. I understand. But I put my own myself in this position to lose this run. Definitely. 100% understand it. I mean, I wish it wasn't so, but it is. The block is pretty bad. But I'm kind of after the burst damage. Okay. We made it through that fight barely. But that was so unnecessarily scary for us. Which means I kind of don't want to fight this upcoming elite fight. I really don't want to fight this elite fight. If it's the Book of Stabbing, we could literally just die. It's not. It's the Gremlins. These might actually be the only case scenario where it's worse for us. Interesting. Very interesting. Let me pop in the speed potion here just to get a little bit of uh, more defense up, which means you won't take damage. So the red Mars coming in massively handy for us there. I must admit, I was skeptical at first, but now I'm like, yes, please, give me more of those, you don't mind. So I weaken him by one. I think that one weaken is important. Two gremlins? Are you serious, game? That's just a little bit unnecessary, don't you think? Two gremlins? Damn. I feel like, I feel like the game's got off me. Can I kill you here, though? Can I kill you here, though? I think, potentially... I actually can. I've got to make a choice here because I either commit to the kill or I don't. It's very important. Let's go like this. Finesse. Oh, you know what? He's actually going to survive on 1 HP. I'm gonna reboot, look for zero cost. Didn't happen. We it took a gamble, didn't work out. It's fine. Um, if Gremlin guy attacks now, I'll be a little bit upset. He didn't. That was lovely. Oh, and we even got everything we wanted. That is so nice. I, I, I knew he was dead. That was so glorious. Okay, that was perfect. How perfect was that? Look at this. Boom. Juggernaut, please. Oh, dude. Juggernaut and this deck is working wonders. I think we do want another alchemized potion and we're going to rest up obviously. As much as I would love relics, this is not the time to be putting relics in our deck. We have a 71 card deck, it's huge, it's scary, it's intimidating, it's not what we want. But we can amplify Juggernaut start and I don't think I could ever say no to that in all honesty. And uh, this is beautiful. What a nice start. Double Juggernaut, first turn. Now we get some ice up in here, we get some block up in here and we could be in a good place. I mean, not going to perfect, obviously. You know, there's literally zero chance of perfect. I think it's definitely Storm for us, though. So, no perfect here, unfortunately. As much as I would have loved to have perfect here, it's not going to happen. But, you know, maybe that's for the better. Maybe that's for the better. So, that's a very unfortunate um, regret. I, I truly did not want to see that. It's just too much damage that I don't want to take. 
here we go. This is kind of what I was waiting for. You, you just put it down, obviously. It's, there's no questions asked. You just need to think about how you play this. So I think you start off with buffer. Into corpse explosion. Into phantasma killer. Into electrodynamics. Into burst rainbow. Let's exhume a card. Get an alchemize. Pop the alchemize. Pop the attack card because we can. Use a clothesline. Weaken this guy. And move along. I love it. I love it. Power is for If we fight the awakened one, I think we will die. <laughs> I'm not even just saying. I'm being legit serious. I think the awakened one will end my life. Um, and it sucks. But the fact of the matter is, it's the fact of the matter. And I need to accept that. So awakened one, worst case scenario. Anything else? It's okay. I can make anything else work. Uh, no. Possibly no. Maybe. I like curse key. I'll take curse key. Okay, so it is donor deck. Okay, that's good. Woo, 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 woo. We have a chance. We have a chance. Donor deck means we have a chance. One, one, two, four, five. What? One, two, three, four, five. No shop though. One, two, three, four, five. Is a shop. One, two, three. So we can get to a shop and we can get to two shops. And we can get two or five elites. So I'm definitely we're going to take that part. And that's a no-brainer right there. Boom. La boom. La boom. Beautiful. He killed the lightning boy first turn. Took zero damage. Absolutely lovely. More of those in the future, please. We did get a juggernaut in the opening hand. There's zero way to get rid of it, and that sucks because we got way too many cards on our opening hand, as you can tell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a double tap glass knife play into a Juggernaut multi cost just to get rid of one cost, we take one less damage from regret. No, regret is becoming a big problem, as you all can tell. I mean, you pop this and you pop this, I guess. Nothing else you can really do there. Juggernaut and Lightning will take it out. Take it out eventually. There we go. Boom. I love it. Boom. I double love it. Boom. I triple love it. Omens Plus. I can see it working in the stack. Let's go. <coughs> So, blue candle, 100%, not even a question. Um, ancient tea set, tempting. I think uh, Entropic Brew is good and Ancient tea is good. Now the second shop looks less inviting, though. I'm much less excited about the second shop. See what happens to this question. Oh, we have to go to one. Oh, fine. Give me some money so I can go to the second shop. I love it. I absolutely love it. More potions? I love it even more. I love it even more, game. self repair Kind of love it, too. Card removal? Ah, card removal. Card removal. I'm sure these cards, when I get them, I'm like, kind of like Nightmare. We do not want Nightmare. So that's just a dead card, and now we get to get it out of our deck, which means we will not draw into a dead card. And that's only a good thing. That's only a good thing. It's never bad. You can never say it's bad if you can get rid of a dead card. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Beautiful. Optimage is fine. It's not great. It's just fine. Exhume the boot sequence because I need some defense. I whip up for some HP here on our play. It's just because I can. Beautiful. Okay, you are not dead, actually. Are you dead? You will not die to this. Hmm. I guess we can exhume boot sequence again. Pop boot sequence. And then are you dead? Oh, you are super dead, dude. Yeah. Okay, don't want any of these though. I don't think any of them are good. Okay, so our first elite of the third floor. This is the first scary part of the game. After this, we kind of fine, but right now we're still in a scary place. And when I say scary, I'm not just being like over dramatic or trying to uh, make a little bit of excitement here. I'm being legit serious. This is the freaking first scary part of this entire floor. Because look at this. If we don't get uh, electrodynamics right now or seek right now, we are in a scary, scary place. Scary enough that I'm immediately going to start off with a... Okay, well, I'm going to start with Die to Die because that's a no-brainer. I'm then going to play a Fission and I'm not even going to, like, wait. Um, so we can take out all of the minions, which is super good. I think that's fine. Uh, so let's focus that. So goodbye minions. All minions are dead. Okay. 
Next thing we can do is we can play tools of trade. We can play impervious not take damage. Play alchemize to get a potion. It's card draw. Kind of okay. Don't really need it. So we'll play a buffer. We're in our turn. So there goes all the minions. So that's really good for damage. We are going to take one. Oh, we didn't take any. Interesting. I felt like we should have took damage there. I'm not going to moan though. I'm going to be very happy and, and thankful that the game was generous enough to not deal damage to me there. Uh, let's play Juggernaut, I think is obvious. Alchemize is obvious. Um, I'll play an Exhum and we'll go find something like a sequence to play a bit to just minimize the damage we take. We should pop the attack card now. I think the first line is fine. Pop that. I was hoping for more after image block there, but it didn't happen. Buffer saved us there. Buffer saved us technically, so we did not take damage there, which is huge. Escape plan is a no-brainer. Oh, here we go. Seek time. Okay, so you seek out the adrenaline and the adrenaline, or you can seek out the feed. Can we kill him yet? I don't think so. I just don't think so. So I think it's I think it's adrenaline. Pop echo form immediately. Uh, pop adrenaline again. Um, let's pop the cold snap. I'm gonna pop offering here. Even though I'm gonna take six, I'm gonna heal it back up with the Reaper. So I'm not too worried about that. Although, I'm gonna need to get rid of this now, so that's fine. If I melace him, I melace him with five, then he will not hurt me. Which is quite a quite an important factor. He will still hurt me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's him for one. No perfect, so maybe really bad. But, uh, you know, I made the choice that I made, so. Obviously, Grand Finale can go. So we're gonna pop this. We're gonna obviously pop this. We're gonna pop this into. Uh, I was gonna pop it onto something else, but I made a mistake on how I planned that, so. You know, my bad. My bad. Take some more damage here. That's okay. Two damage. It's not the, uh, one damage because it's, it's not the end of the world. Dude, you are attacking like crazy today. Are you okay, my good friend? Because I've never seen you attack this much. But you're about to get wrecked by a Juggernaut, so good luck. Good luck. Juggernaut is so good. And um, we'll get rid of Regret. Pop a Juggernaut. I think I, I really love Juggernaut, man. I love that card so <laughs> I love that card so much in this deck. It's insane. Okay, that's our first elite on this floor done. Don't want any of those. Those are all so bad. Okay, so Smithing is actually now a temptation. And what would we want in Smith? The other adrenaline. Off the image to our opening hand. I think I think off the image in our opening hand is so important now that I have to because it synergizes with my deck so perfectly. Oh, it's the head. This is scary. So depending on how I do on this first turn, this could be a make or break type of situation. Oh, there's our juggernaut though. Makes me feel a lot more confident about the situation I just got dealt. Obviously, I'm gonna pop full DPS here. And you know what? More damage. Let's go. I don't need the boot sequence. If it's in my exhaust pile, I can go fetch it if I need it. So I'm fine with that. Okay. We got an artifact. We're good to go. Uh, let's go for a vision. Is useless. So let's go for this burst into double limit break for super damage. We can pop a capacitor and we can end up to love it. Eight extra strength. Feels good. Don't want that. Want this. Want this. Want that. Obviously. Want this. Okay, so this is now where we're a little bit in trouble because we are taking damage and we will not get a perfect here. Even if I, I'm, I mean, I could pop all the potions because they're all bad and then pop this and see what we get. We get card draw, we can't use it though. We get energy, but we, we could use the card draw and the energy together, I guess. It's not, ah, uh, Wraith for, can't play it. We are, we are short on energy. Uh, I can play focus potion, which can be four extra block. But this is worth it. Like, if I play this, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get five. Five plus four is nine. I will never, ever, ever get to an up block. So let's just go. I would have never made it to an up block. No matter what, I would have never made it to an up block. So there was no reason for me to go out of my way there to try and get this beautiful block block synergy happening when I didn't need it. That's a lot of damage. So I'll do it. There's our armaments, guys. We absolutely adore an armaments. Lovely. I mean, this is strong, right? This is not weak. We have everything we need to win. We just need to make it happen. Now, we do unfortunately need to make it happen in a very specific way, and that's what's a little bit difficult and slightly scary, but, you know, we now have double echo form out there. I mean, that's only good, right? We're taking, like, five damage. Yeah. So, we... Oh, 
even we didn't even take damage because our good friend um Toei came clutch for us in the clutch there. Absolutely love it. Okay, and we get to feed on you. Beautiful. Calipers, it could work. It could work for us. Definitely another seek, 100 percent and we want to upgrade that seek. So we fought this elite, this elite that's two elites, this is three elites, four elites, five elites. So we do have to take this path, even though I'd love, 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 love to have gone to a rest spot for the seek. Just having two seeks already puts us in so much better of a position. Um, I'm going to go for the e explosion potion here. Into the alchemites. Energy potion, I guess, is fine. You know, demon form, and we can go for the boot sequence. Okay. Not a great first turn. We're going to need a way to deal with everyone in the next turn. So, corpse explosion, or da da da, or something like that. Or we are kind of in trouble. We're in some trouble. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. We're in, we're, in, we're in quite a bit of trouble here. It's not the end of the world though, but it's a little bit of a problem. And we are suddenly not in any trouble at all. Now that makes me feel very happy. There's our seek. So we can seek out the Adrenaline. And what are you doing? You are attacking? You know what? If you're attacking, let's go find a Glacier. Why not? Glacier's always good. It's in my opening hand. Okay, it's so good. It's in my opening hand. It's like the game knew exactly what I needed. I was like, excuse me, I, I, I happen to notice that you need this. Oh, I made a mistake. Energy potion. Look at that I knew I had the energy, so I was like, hey, let's use the energy to my advantage. And instead, I ended up using the energy to my own disadvantage. So that was kind of interesting. Wait for Taking no damage. For two turns, basically. And we only have to 50. That's kind of doable. Oh, beautiful self repair. Beautiful Reaper, beautiful one of those, beautiful one of those, and we can exhume for anything basically. So we can exhume from Adrenaline, Adrenaline Plus. This is so lovely. I absolutely adore it. I adore this run and everything this run stands for. So I'd love to have fed on you, but I don't think we're gonna get that option. So I'll just take you up. Beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. Amplify Tool Trade Legend. I kind of like Amplify a lot. But I don't think we want two in the deck. I'm just gonna skip these. Crash mock. Oh. Let's get a right in our deck. Oh um, boy, stop passing me in the right. It's okay. Maybe it's good. I know, I'm not sure yet. Um, this is a burst into adrenaline play. No, no, there's no doubt in my mind that that's the play. Off damage into echo form, into bullet time, which we should have played earlier. We can go for this, we can go for that, and we. Do not need to play boot sequence, I will not play boot sequence. Okay. We've got Echo Form, we've got one buffer play, we've got we've got everything basically. So I think Echo Form means we should definitely create AI twice. I'm pretty sure that is the correct plan no matter how you look at it. So that is the plan I'm gonna go for. And we have Echo Form, so the correct play here is to go electrodynamics. Into capacitor into electrodynamics and in our turn little bit of focus is all this deck needed one or two focus cards um, such as maybe the uh okay so the first card we play is played twice i think you do play the seeing red twice here then you play the fire breathing then you play the feel no pain then you play machine learning then you play the alpha mice then you play the self repair and then you play the bludgeon and you cry because you're still gonna lose your buff for two damage. <laughs> that sucks. It's okay. Let's play off damage. Adrenaline. Escape plan. Really just sitting here looking for Juggernaut. And there's our boy Juggernaut. Thank you for finally showing up. Super appreciate it. Time to play the bullet time. Let's play the glass light. Let's play the exhume. Let's bring back the Alchemize. Oh, we cannot pop the Alchemize. We don't have the energy for it. My bad. My bad. We won't take damage here. And we're going to get a ton of damage out of Juggernaut. The Juggernaut is so good with this deck. This deck and Juggernaut are just made to work together. It's so good. It's absolutely so good. I mean, the logical choice is just play Buffer twice. And never take damage again. Uh, let's play the Rainbow. And in fire breathing, I just guess for fun. Beautiful. 
Do -do -do. And every time we get ice, we do juggernaut damage. Every time we get metallicized, we do double dam uh, juggernaut damage. Every time we play defense, we get juggernaut damage. Our entire deck just has this beautiful... Just play juggernaut for the rest of your entire life and have a great time. And it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. It's so nice. We want zero costers, so like something like reboot would be good. And then maybe like... Uh, I mean... It doesn't really matter, so double gang, I guess. Reload it. Yeah, we didn't get any zero costers. Okay, we're not gonna take damage either. So, oh, he's dead. Never mind. Incense burner. What a lovely relic. I will take another extra relics. Uh, earlier, I get that out the better. Upgrading or relic? I think there was something I wanted to upgrade specifically. The other seek. I wanted to upgrade the other seek, and that's a no-brainer, man. That's a no-brainer. That is the easiest choice I have to make because getting one of those seeks means we pretty much set up our entire run. The last elite we have to do, Nemesis. He is my arch nemesis. I will definitely off damage here. I will definitely offering here. Not what I wanted, but that's fine. I'll pop that. I'll pop that. And then I'll pop that. It was a okay first turn. Not the greatest first turn, but we get three extra energy. I can make that work. I can make that work. Definitely. 45 damage is a lot though. Absolutely adore the buffer now. Like Mr. Buffer, you showed up exactly when I needed you to. Thank you so much. Please show up again whenever you feel like it. <laughs> You saved my life. Okay. Ooh, buffer. Big, big buffer turn there for us. A very bad turn here for us. I'll get creative AI and I'll go doppelganger. Now, that's literally what I'm going to do. So we need defense like crazy right now. Yeah, we need defense like absolutely crazy. Okay, so we do not have echo form out, but so we'll just go like finesse. Gives us some block. Almonds upgrade everything in our hand and then finesse for more block. Uh, pop metallicize for more block. Plop adrenaline for more block. We can go and escape plan for potentially more block. We didn't get it. Juggernaut, which I should have popped the turn earlier. It's okay. Uh, let's pop a in again. We're just trying to get that block out here as much as we can. Just trying to get block out all day, baby. Just block it up all day. Beautiful Glacier for some block. This gives us a beautiful opportunity to play an Alchemist for another card. I do think we can go a little bit of Demon Form action here. Why not? What about a Discharge? How does that feel? Feels good. Some all for one. Bring up some zero costers. I do love me some zero costers, guys. Big fan of the zero coster cards, man. More of those, please, in the future. One of these feels really good. And then uh, a little bit of an unload ending. And we take zero damage. I, I really like that. I really like that. I think we killed anyone there with Juggernaut, by the way. <laughs> Juggernaut, of course, didn't show up, so it was a little bit unfortunate, but it is okay. So we'd like to kill you here, if possible. So let's go seek. And we don't want to find a kill condition. Well, how much HP on? 49 and we have five strings so let me break this super good and uh, just an attack of some kind that's really strong so maybe like a reaper is good to heal us i do like a reaper to heal us like a lot like i like a, a reaper to heal us a lot so i will go like this i will get rid of the two regrets and i'll take some damage for that it's okay i'll reaper and zoom and go find the gentleman pop in the gentleman beautiful Darkstone provide absolutely pointless card to get at this point. Um, I will go thousand cuts here. Now we need to make a choice. Gambler's Brew is super valuable, but is it as valuable as a poison to get rid of the artifacts? I think so. I think so. So we get to upgrade or find a relic. Um, upgrade or find a relic. Those are two options we have, and they're both good. Don't get me wrong, but I think another upgraded adrenaline is just exactly what we want in this deck. Now, I think we have three upgraded adrenalines in this deck, and I'm I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we're going to want for Donut Deck. Okay, first turn is important. We got an adrenaline. That's a massively, massively good first turn. So, I'm going to start off the off damage. We got instant spell on the first turn, too. Wow. Pop adrenaline. There's Juggernaut on the first turn, game. That's what I want to see. I was hoping for some kind of card draw, so I'm very happy about that. Emulate, not exactly what I wanted, but it's okay. Um, I want to gam this brew here because I want like ice. That's a lot of damage, but I really wanted ice. And look at the seek showing up exactly where we wanted it to show up. So we want this is the problem, right? We want so many stuff here that it's really hard to know what to look for. But uh, I think I'll search like that, and then I'll get a glacier, and I'll get a, a electrodynamics. Pop the finesse. Pop the adrenaline, pop the thousand cuts, and realize you should have popped that earlier. It's okay though. Uh, pop the glacier and pop the electrodynamics, and that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so we have 
everything we need to win, all we need to do now is not take damage. Now Calipus is going to help out quite a bit with that, which is very nice. So we're already not taking damage here. I'm going to definitely use this uh, potion over there. And I'm going to feed on you, even though it's not going to matter because this is daily and not a... So you cannot get trophies. I feel like we should win this. I, I really do. But you never know. You never know with Stay Aspire. And right now, we don't really have a guaranteed win yet. So see could find me, like, defense. But the Drillion is going to get me more card plays. And I'm after them card plays, baby. I'm all about them card plays. Bullet time, 100%. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. And we will... We were perfect this boss fight. Yay! <laughs> Yay, we got it to perfect the final Don and Deca fight. I love it. Oops. 1,000... 4... 1,346. Not top 100. Oh, we just, just missed it. That was close, though. That was close, though. The only perfect got was against uh, Don and Deck at the end. Man, that sucks that we didn't get the uh, top 100 there. But we missed it by, like, 10 points. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But I do hate missing it. I do hate missing it. Yeah. So 1,055 was top uh, 100. And we got 1,346. So we were 9 points away from the top 100 position. If my internet decides to work with us. Yes. So for yeah literally nine points and we would have had a top 100 score so that's a little bit unfortunate that i didn't get top 100 today but it's okay uh it was a very very fun run shiny and diverse is not good okay together it sucks you get way too many cards you don't want in in your opening hands way too many three costs and powers that you just physically can't play so a little bit of a scary one this one if you didn't approach this in the right way you could actually be in a little trouble here but in general that was just really fun and i had a really fun time doing that daily for now thank you very much for watching if you guys enjoyed it please be sure to hit that like button it helps me out a lot i really appreciate it that is our 23rd win for the month so far so good once again i hope you all enjoyed it i'll see you next time with more slay the spire daily challenge runs